It's been a strong start to the year for global equity markets with the US again in the driver's seat and a lot of that has been driven by you know, AI optimism, a uh, resilient economy as well as the expectation that the Federal Reserve is eventually going to start to you know, begin cutting rates. Um, so that's been very supportive of equity markets and within the Shariah portfolios we've sort of positioned ourselves around that. You know, remaining invested in the US um, and being invested in sectors that we believe will continue to do well. Um, but yeah, in terms of uh, where we see markets going forward, we expect markets to sort of broaden out and other markets and regions to, to sort of play catch up with the US, which is what we've, we've already started to see, specifically with Europe, emerging markets and Japan, which have been areas that we've been trying to sort of increase exposure to within the Shariah portfolios. So within Q1, we've uh, made an additional investment within the Shariah portfolios. We've, um, we now own a, uh, a dedicated emerging markets equity fund, which we see um, you know, performing well already, and we expect to continue to, to see the strong performance throughout 2024. Off the back of you know, a weaker dollar, which is supported for EM markets, as well as um, some real positive structural themes within the region. From a diversification perspective, we've added in some additional investments to the portfolio, specifically within the precious metals space, which we see not only as a way to diversify the portfolio, but also drive alpha for the Shariah portfolios. We believe uh, a lower interest rate environment should be very supportive of gold and silver, which we've already started to see at the tail end of Q1. So this is another investment that we've made um, and another investment that we see uh, carrying the Shariah portfolios even further throughout 2024. I think 2024 is going to continue being a positive year for the Shariah space. And by that I mean we expect to see more products come to market. We've had several conversations with fund houses that have you know, increasingly paid more attention to Muslim investors and trying and attempting to provide products that suit um, their religious beliefs. Um, so throughout 2024, we at TAM are going to continue having these conversations, keeping our ear to the ground of new products coming into the pipeline and then trying to identify how we can select the investments that best suit the Shariah portfolio and the clients that are invested with us.